All right, everybody, we're back once again. Um, this dog is freaking annoying. Like, look at him. He's like, bam! I'm right here. My name is Christopher Doggin. Ha! I sell laundry equipment. <laughs> is that just like a little bunny hop? <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm kidding. I, I need to stop doing that. That's annoying. Even I, the great zinc. Wait, what? What am I saying? I talk and I don't even make sense anymore because all this sneaking has worn me down. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Ah, uh, if it wasn't it. Uh. been forged forged as in melted why 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 would you do that that makes no sense at all Just be quiet, just be quiet, and not uh, ignore him, and uh... Ah! I'm good. No, guys, I'm... Seriously, I'm... I'm A-OK. -okay. What are you guys talking about? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. See, Ser seriously, I'm... I'm fine. <laughs> hmm. Lovely. Woo! You know, everything's okay. What are you guys talking about? What do you mean I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm in a jumpy mood right now? Wait, did I, did I uh, uh, please tell me I put that in my notes. Um. What? Blank page. Okay, one three seven one. Thank you. I was thinking I had to go all the way back there and do that again. I was like, damn it. Three seven one. Going deeper. I'm just gonna. Gotta say I get a bad feeling from it. Honestly, this place is not much better. Shut up, barrel. Just look down, just look down, barrel. Really, the hunger is becoming rather Shh. uncomfortable Shh. here. Shut up, Red. How far away are you? You could not be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels with the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful, the shiny solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. You're gonna eat me, aren't you, Red? You're gonna fucking eat me at the end of this. Or at least he's gonna try. I guarantee he's gonna try to fucking eat me. He's gonna be like, uh, well, see, you are, you are a good friend, but, uh... I thought I could just take a little nibble out of ya. Wait, he said, um, the place of water. I think we need to go down there. Lake Utaku. Okay. So I need to go down that way. And then I just, just need to go down straight. And then I just need to... Okay. Whatever. Nope. Nope. Not whatever. Not whatever. Not whatever. 
Not whatever. Not whatever. Is that him right there? Nope, 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 nope. Well, sorry guys, I'm not really talking that much right now. It's because this is this is intense. I'm good. I'm good. My composure's back. That's scary. Like run, forest, run, 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 motherfucker, run. What? Yeah. That demon dogs right there. You just go run, run. What? There's something in here. No. Useless. Well, not entirely. Just an old flare and some painkillers and a backpack. Oh. As far as last will and testament. Last will and testament of Joe Freeman. Final thoughts. Ten, ten, thousand. My time. My time. Ta time. After I read this, I'll just... I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister, May, in the knowledge that she will distribute them wisely. We always used to say, better to die young than never live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be surviving much longer. John, oh my buddy, I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places, and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Oh, man, that'd be so painful. Three hours ago, after... We'd set up camp. Jono set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that had got him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the sign soon after he got worse. He jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage him so. Lucky for me, the ground gave way and we both fell. I landed hard on the ice and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline, didn't notice the pain. I just knew that if I was going to die, I didn't want to be in that frozen water beneath me. When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim for the side, but your body won't let go. You gradually dip under the surface and last breath expelled when you fell. Your last breath expelled when you fell, but you don't drown there and then your body shuts everything down survives on what strength you have left and can last for an hour just floating there slowly slowly that's fucked up Ugh. so now i'm lying here my soaked gore-tex slowly freezing me in place me on one side of the lake john will trapped on the other i'm worried about him from what i can see from this side his arm is dislocated his shoulder blade fractured and his wrist broken i can't hear anything he yells but he looks to be constantly muttering to himself testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack i don't know how he how he can stand the pain and where his strength is coming from but at any rate something strange happened to him fortunately for me he can't cross the ice It'll give way under his weight. The only way to cross would be to carefully spread your way evenly across surface, and he looks in too much of a rash for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I've always said I'd rather die pushing the boundary than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that. After all, I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. All right, guys. At that semi-depressing message... We'll end on that. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It always helps me out. And you guys have a good day.